All right, guys. How's it, how y'all doing out there? Me? I'm a slight bit pissed off right now. And you may be wondering, well, why? Why am I slightly pissed off? It's because of this news article I found on Video Game Chronicles, on, I mean, VideoGamesChronicle.com. And the title of it says, Sony confirms it will remove the PlayStation Plus collection and library. Those who redeem the 19 PS4 games will still be will still be able to access them as long as they remain subscribers. Really? Sony, so you're telling me... So what you're basically saying here is, as far as PlayStation 4 goes, fuck you. Yeah, that makes no sense at all. So anyway, anyway, here we go. The PlayStation Plus collection will soon cease to exist. Sony Interactive Entertainment has announced. Really? Really? Why? From May 9, the collection of 19 games will no longer be offered. Sony Interactive Lo Elect Sony Interactive Entertainment said on Wednesday, games can still be redeemed until this date and will be available after to users who remain PlayStation Plus subscribers. You gotta be kidding. You're kidding, right? You're joking, right? <sighs> of course. Of course you're not. The PlayStation Plus collection is a library of PS4 games given exclusively to PS5 owners who are who are members of the paid subscription service. Of course. I should have I should have known. I should have known that he, that this is the reason why they're getting rid of it. Cuz again, like the like I said before, they're basically saying fuck you to PS4 owners. What the fuck? Um Sony, I think there's a little something you forgot to put in here. Would you possibly, maybe, you know, possibly be able to put the list of which games you're talking about? Because, unfortunately, yeah, I don't see a list here anywhere. Oh, maybe we do have a list. And here we go. It originally included 20 games, 10 first-party and 10 third-party games before Persona was removed in May of 2022. You have got to be joking. You're kidding, right? The collection includes God of War, Fallout 4, Mortal Kombat, Uncharted 4, Ratchet and Clank, Days Gone, Until Dawn, Detroit, I guess they mean Detroit Becomes Human, I guess. Battlefield 1, Infamous Second Son, Batman Arkham Knight, The Last Guardian, The Last of Us Remastered, Resident Evil 7, Bloodborne, and Monster Hunter. Oh, sweet Germany Christmas. Sony, why would you get rid of something that is, that, you know, does this little thing called make you money? Seriously. Why are you getting rid of something that is that actually, you know, does this little thing called make you money? <sighs> Makes no sense to me. The feature was made available at PS5 launch in 2020 as a perk for owners of the next-gen console only, of course. At the time, CIE, Sony Interactive Entertainment, CEO Jim Ryan, said he hadn't decided if the PlayStation Plus collection would be expanded beyond its initial launch lineup. Oh, sweet Jiminy Christmas, of course. Of course Jim Ryan's behind this, of course he is. Why am I not surprised to find out that Jim Ryan's behind this, behind this brain-dead decision? Because this has got to be one of Sony's Dumbest freaking ideas ever. So it's like your base is saying, fuck PS4 owners, welcome PS5 owners. That's, pre that's pretty much what you're saying, dude. <sighs> well, we're going to wait and see how the world receives the PlayStation Plus collection. 
he told GQ, Junior's Quarterly, I think is what that is. You know, which games, you know, which games are played how much they're played before we make any decisions about that? You've got to be joking, right? So it's like you're basically saying it depends on which game. It depends on how many game. It depends on which games get played and how much. You're fucking kidding, right? You're fucking kidding. Oh God, Jim Ryan, why? Why are you doing this? You are showing how much of an idiot you are. Get the shit out of here. We think it's potentially going to be a great user acquisition acquisition tool. Arguably, if you never had a PS4 and you choose to buy a PS5, you basically get a PS4, right? Of course. So, Jim Ryan, you are a fucking asshole for doing this. Ryan's, Ryan has said that a subscription model like Xbox Game Pass doesn't make any sense for Sony's first-party operation considering it's focused on big-budget games. Oh, sweet Jimmy Christmas. And yes, Sony has confirmed placed it the PlayStation Plus Essential Games, I don't know why they call it that, on Wednesday. They are Ollie Ollie World... Mafia Definitive Edition, Evil Dead the Game, and Destiny 2 Beyond Light. What the fuck? I could have sworn that Destiny 2 thing was a DLC for Destiny 2. Oh, Jesus. So, yeah, Jim Ryan, you're a fucking asshole for doing this shit. So, basically what you're saying again is PlayStation 4 orders get basically a big middle finger right up the ass. And PlayStation Five owners basically get basically get a big bag get, basically get a big bag of basically get a picnic lunch. PlayStation Four owners basically get nothing at all. So what are you gonna do with the PlayStation Plus? So again, what are you gonna do with the PS Four owners that still have PS Four but haven't got a PS Five yet? You idiot! Did you ever did you ever think of that? Huh? Think about it. Think about it, dumbass. <sighs> I don't believe this, you guys. So is it like the last 19 games you offered are the ones you're talking about here? Or are you talking about just these ones in general? God of War, Fallout 4, Mortal Kombat, Uncharted 4, Ratchet and Clank, Days Gone, Until Dawn, Detroit Become Human, Battlefield 1, Infamous Second Son, Batman Arkham Knight, The Last Guardian, The Last of Us Remastered, Resident Evil 7, Bloodborne, and Monster Hunter World. Are those the ones you're talking about? Um, did I think there might be a little something you're forgetting here. What if some people already own those already own some of those games, huh? What what about then? Huh? So what? Fuck them. So basically you're saying so basically PS4 owners might as well just, you know, might as well just kiss the might as well might as well just kiss the PS Plus goodbye forever. Cause Jim Ryan, you are a fucking asshole for doing for doing shit like this. So why did you, so again, here's a question. Why did you even start this damn online service if all, if all you were going to do is just get rid of it at some point? What was the point in starting this online service if you're just going to get rid of it? Does that make any sense at all? I didn't think so, guys. I did not think so. So once again... Once again, in case for those of you who haven't all, who didn't hear what I already said, Sony has confirmed that the PlayStation Plus collection will be removed in May. And those who redeem the 19 PS4 games will still will still be able to access them as long as they remain PlayStation Plus subscribers. So, what's the point in having PlayStation Plus then if there's going to be no 
collection for us to get. Think about it. Huh? Think about it. Think about it, idiot. Jesus. So, yeah, if you guys did enjoy this, and, and I hope you did, you know, go ahead and feel free to drop a like. You know, leave your thoughts on this bullshit, because frankly, that's what it is. And while you're at it, guys, you know, share this video around for those who don't already know this information, please. Because honest to God, this has got to be one of Sony's most... This has got to be one of Sony's most brain-dead decisions I've ever seen in my life. Because, really? Because what you're doing is you're proving once and for all... Sony, you don't have a clue what you're doing. So here's a here's a way you could compensate people. P, I mean, PS4 owners. You could, oh, I don't know. You could maybe, um, you know, you could maybe, possibly, you know, offer classic PS1 games. You know, that sort of thing as a, as a way of compensation. So that we don't come off look like a total asshole, which you are in this case. Oh my god. Oh my god, this, this... Sony, this has got to be one of the dumbest ideas you've ever... This has got to be one of the dumbest stunts you've ever pulled. Guys, just go ahead and do all that stuff yet that I keep saying to do. Like, comment, subscribe... Click that bell to possibly be notified of future videos. And guys, if you guys have already gotten your boosters and your vaccines and all that stuff, good for you. And for those of you who haven't yet, might be a good idea to get them, okay? Oh my god, this is... I swear, Jim Ryan, you have no idea what you're doing at this point. Because it's like, PS4 owners are basically told, we're gonna, are basically being told in May, get the fuck out. P PS5 owners are being welcomed in very warmly. So, basically, four more months of this service is gonna be available on the PS4, and then, that's it. And then that, and then that's all. That's all we get. That's all we get, people. Yeah. I don't believe this. I don't believe this, people. I'm sorry. People, I'm sorry I'm I'm sorry I'm being really ranty here, but you know, you know what? This is one of those times I feel I feel I have to. Alright guys, you guys all have yourselves a good day. And you guys try and you guys try and understand and you know, just just enjoy yourself. Just try to enjoy yourselves as best as you can, okay?